when we're meditating, we're learning how to make our mind reliable, something we can depend on. As we're born into this world, what can we depend on? In the beginning, we depend on our parents, but you can depend on them only so long. Try to depend on your own body. You depend on that only for so long. After a while, it starts. At first, it seems to be getting stronger and stronger, and then it turns around and gets weaker and weaker again. And as for your own mind, if the mind isn't trained, you can't really depend on that either. It can think of all kinds of evil things to do, all kinds of stupid things to do, and talk itself into doing almost anything at all. But it can be trained, and it can be trained to the point where you really can depend on it. So this is why we're developing mindfulness, developing alertness as we meditate. These things help make the mind reliable and help make it dependable. Because whatever knowledge you've gained from the past as to what's right and what's wrong, what's skillful and what's not, the more mindful you are, the more you're able to apply that knowledge all the time. And the more alert you are, the more you're able to detect when something's going wrong in the mind. So you can catch it in time. That's why the Buddha said these two qualities, mindfulness and alertness, have, are extremely useful, extremely helpful in all activities. They're the things that you depend on so you can create a mind that's dependable. When the mind is dependable, it'll take you to a place that's even more dependable than that. Something that doesn't die at all, something that doesn't change at all, something that's beyond conditions and space and time. That's when you really have found something reliable inside. That's when you've got a true refuge. But in the meantime, you take what you've got here and you make it more and more reliable as you develop the mind day by day by day. So ultimately, you can really can depend on yourself. You have a safety, you have a happiness that's totally reliable. It all comes from these little reminders that you give yourself. Each time the mind wanders off, just bring it right back. Each time it wanders off, just bring it right back. Those little reminders turn into a strong mindfulness. And that strong mindfulness can take your mind places you otherwise wouldn't be able to go.